How will I find out who my mediator is? If both parties select the same mediator, then that is who will be assigned. If there are two different choices, then the court will assign a mediator. Submit your mediation selection form to the court. Who is present at the mediation sessions? The parents and or legal guardians are required to participate in mediation. If a party feels they need the support of another person, such as their attorney, they may wait outside where the mediation is taking place. On rare occasions, another person may be present during the mediation session. This may occur when the court believes that one of the parties is not fully capable of participating in the process. Is mediation confidential? Yes. Everything said in mediation is private and confidential. It is not shared with anyone outside the session unless the parties involved give such permission. Oregon law does not allow a mediator or any participant to testify in court about what is said during mediation. The law provides two exceptions to this confidentiality. Your mediator is required to report any allegation of child abuse and any threatened or actual violence to the proper authorities. What if I don't feel safe being at mediation? It is hard for mediation to succeed if one or both parties feels unsafe during the process. If you do not feel safe, let the mediator know as soon as possible. It is often advisable for both parties to meet with the mediator at separate times or locations. If there is a restraining order in place, you will need to file a modification with the court. Contact the court clerk for the required form. How long does a mediation session last? Sessions can last between one and two hours, depending on the progress and agreements made by the parties. The mediator may choose to end a session early if one or both parties becomes distressed or it is not possible to make progress towards an agreement. Multiple sessions might be necessary to complete the mediation. These sessions are often scheduled a few weeks apart. The court covers up to eight hours of domestic relations mediation. What happens when an agreement is reached? Once an agreement is reached, it is reviewed by both parties before the session ends. The plan is then written by the mediator to be reviewed and signed by both parties. You do not have to sign the agreement prior to asking your attorney to review it. Each party then receives a copy of the signed document, and a copy is also sent to the court as part of the court record. Are mediators allowed to give legal advice or assistance? No, mediators cannot give you legal advice or represent either party in court. Mediators encourage you to consult an attorney for legal advice before you sign a parenting agreement. This will protect your legal rights and those of your children. Can other issues be mediated? The court only covers domestic relations mediation. If you would like to mediate other aspects of your divorce, such as finances or property, consult with your mediator. Other issues can be resolved outside of court.